I like I mean confidence is the key to lots of things in life but confidence to ask for what you want as well as confidence in your ability to be sexual so what what became a recurrent theme for me when I was talking to the clients that would come and see me is that they didn't have confidence to ask for their deepest desires they couldn't ask their partners for what they really wanted and uh, so I think every, you know, sort of every couple of months, every six months, what you probably need to do is have this really intimate conversation where you dare to suggest something that is within you that you've never shared before. And that requires a huge amount of trust. But if you can go to those places with your partner, you will constantly be fulfilled as far as I'm concerned, you know, because your sexuality evolves over a lifetime. What you desire at 20 isn't what you desire at 30, and it won't be what you desire at 40. And the more experiences you have, the more sophisticated your sexuality becomes. So um, you've got to be realistic. Like you can't have the same sex your whole relationship. It's just not going to work. So you're going to have to kind of like build that trust in order to kind of open up. So having the confidence in the in the depth of the relationship is one thing. And I think, you know, unfortunately, some people's relationships are just not that stable. And um, the idea of kind of throwing out new sexual ideas is really threatening to a lot of people. So building trust is actually the most important thing before you can kind of tap into confidence. Well, definitely this thing about um, taking charge as a woman, mm -hmm. because even though I would always have considered myself reasonably sexually comfortable, sexually empowered feminist, I found it very difficult to initiate sex, for example. I've always found it really hard to ask for sex if I want it. So something about domination is it? taught me how to do that, um, often by literally just taking hold of somebody. <laughs> There's not many men that complain if you manhandle them, <laughs> not them advocating abuse in any way, but uh, you know, if you're kind of being intimate with somebody and then you kind of just take charge or move your hands somewhere where normally you would wait to be moved, um, that can work quite nicely. Um, and I think I've become much more liberal, and this is very personal and wouldn't be applicable to lots of people, but I've been, become much more liberal about the concept of monogamy. Um, I've had lots of sexual experiences with lots of different people and um, what became interesting is that when I was in relationships I was doming, it didn't affect the intimacy I had with my partner, in fact it made me more loving towards the person that I was with because I had this outlet for just play. Um, and I sort of come to believe that for me that's kind of the ideal scenario to be able to be with somebody who can also be with other people sometimes or you can go to sort of play parties together and have those other experiences and then come home to each other and know that you've got that core stable loving foundation as a relationship um, and for me that gets over the boredom issue because if you're allowed to kind of play with other people ever so often you're never going to run out of I don't know you're never going to run out of ideas or um, stimuli.